Hey everybody, Frank here. We have another device review for you today. Today we have from Vaporesso. This is the Target PM80 Pod Mod from Vaporesso. What we have here is an 80 watt device, internal battery. Comes these these pods. Take the pod off. See, there's a sub ohm coil inside the pod. Uh, e liquid four mil e liquid capacity here in the U.S. I think TPD over in over in Europe and that's uh, I think two mils, whatever. You have uh, these airflow holes. Excellent board. Nice and bright screen. Get great flavor from the coils. Uh, let's see before we go down low. Anything else I need to talk about? Let's see. Vaporesso sent this my way for a review, so I want to give a big shout out to them. Uh, let's go down. We'll, we'll get up and close, up close and personal with it, and see what we got. Let's go. Okay, guys. Here's what we have. This is the Sub Ohm Pod Mod Vaporesso Target PM80. This is the box it comes in. We got manufacturer there. Here you have 80 watt power boosting, GTX mesh coils, changeable coils, Axon chip and Sapphire and 2 amp fast charging. Vaporesso logo there. On the back you have, I guess it's focus target PM80, the dimensions, pod size, and coils, suggested wattage. Just gonna get that to focus better. 2000, 2000 milliamp hour internal battery. 5 watt to 80 watt output power, 2 amp micro USB, 0.96 inch TFT display. Box contains the PM80 battery, 2 PM80 pods, 4 mils, 1.2 coil, 1.3 coil USB cable, user manual, warranty card, and reminder card. Alright, here are my mess. Alright, here we go. You have that was the 0.2 coil that I have installed. There's the 0.3 coil that we're going to put in. Here's the spare, and here is the star of the show, the Vaporesso PM80. And before we get to that, you got this little this cover here. You have your USB charging cable. Real nice looking USB charging cable. It's not a USB-C. You have these. These are inserts for your airflow if you want to block off part of your airflow i'll show you how they work your anti-counterfeit qr code thingy there you have your little card for the pod i mean for the mesh mesh coils features on them gtx coils you have your user manual Right there, oh, I guess that's focusing. There we go, you have all your specs. How everything works. And then you can go through the menu system, filling the e-liquid, we're gonna go over all that. And warnings about everything, you know, if you have you know, different things come up, fault codes and stuff. And then you have it in French and in other languages, so that's that. In here, you're going to have your Vaporesso warranty card. Same as you know, any other Vaporesso device. Get that in there, there we go. Get that off to the side. Put all this back in, move that out, get that off to the side, and here we go. Here is the star of the show. This is the Vaporesso Target PM80. I've been using this at work for the last few weeks. It's got this real nice texture here. It almost looks like a like the Death Star on there. There's your battery venting. It says... 2000 milliamp battery. It's pretty scratched up. This is your airflow. That's where these little guys come in handy. 
I'm going to block off that airflow. You see I have a chip here. Uh, some scuffing, a couple of chips. I literally dropped this from 12 feet in the air. And the pod came, up, you know, came out of it. The battery, I mean, the uh, coil went flying. But I put it all back together and it works. Here's your screen. So I get to, now that's in smart mode. And it's locked, I believe. I had look three times. Now you're you're locked. Three more times, unlocked. See, this is in the smart mode. See, so it tells you right here, 45 to 60 is your best wattage. 0.18 coil. Your voltage when you fire it. Puff counter, which I already went all the way. It goes all the way up to 9.99. And your seconds that you take a pull. Obviously, your how much battery you have left, smart chip locked. Now, so you unlock it. You hold the up and down buttons. So, so you get to do it. Hold up and down. So, you now you're getting into your menu system. You have your variable wattage, variable voltage, your smart, and your puff counter. Your themes, if you want to change the colors, you can hit that. Green. Blue, pink, exit. We'll keep it a green. We'll exit because you know me, I love, I love green. Default, if you want to set it back to factory settings and exit. So we'll go back here. Here's your smart chip. That's where we're in. Puff counter so you can just tell you like almost like a scorecard how long you pulled on and how many seconds. So you can reset that just by going here, hit that, reset all that. Now exit, smart chip, yes or no. We're gonna go no for a second, but I'm gonna show you. Actually, you know what, no, I'm gonna leave that on yes. Now, if I just do this, pull the pod out, pop it back in, Goes right back to recommended wattage, 55 watts. Scroll up. Goes to 80, does not round robin. All the way back down to 5 watts. So we'll just do that again. Pull that out, pop it back, right to 55 watts. Fire is very quick. Instant. A little gurgle in there, huh? Now see, I did drop it, and you'll see here, see the battery is very, I mean, the magnet is very strong. And when I did drop it, the coil doesn't want to sit properly. It sits a little high. But we're going to show you with the other one. I'm going to show you another clean coil, show you the difference in the airflow. Because here we have the GTX coil. You see there it's a little bit more this is the point three a little bit more narrow compared to the point twos I'll pop another point two out just to show you you can see the difference there between the two you get a lot more well, let me take this one out of the package because we're gonna with that other pod in there anyway. So here you can tell the difference. You can see there, you get more, more of a narrow draw on the coils themselves. You get a little glare there. It says GTX and it says your 0.3 mesh coil. Basically, okay, so what you do is you take your take your pod. See, that's the opening. There's where you're going. There's your fill port, your contacts, your airflow. And what you want to do is you see it's very strong. I just put on this metal, and look at that, it just sticks right to it. We are going to use. I have a. DIY blood orange here. We're going to prime this coil up. So 
So you just take your coil a little bit of e-liquid around here, a little bit here on the sides. Take your pod, place it in. You want to have it so you're the, you see it's, there's a flat spot. And they're notches. You want to have them going straight up and down. Push it in, it sits, and you see there that notch right there. That's your airflow. Take this tab, open this tab up, put it off to the side like that. Take your bottle and fill her up. That's all you gotta do. Take the flap, stick it over, make sure it's seated in there. You can see everything's nice and flat. Take your pod and take your mod and snaps right in. Nice and tight. I'm not going anywhere. Alright, why isn't it working? Oh, got an issue. There we go. See, now it says 22 watts. I get the focus. It says rest between 16 and 25. That's not right. That is not right at all. Let me see something. And if they're not seen properly. There we go. See, it goes right to 40 watts, so it's between 32 and 45. It's reading a 0.36. Let that sit to the side for a minute. Put all this back. And see, while we're waiting for that to, to settle, let me show you these little air flows things. They give you four of them. I guess in case you'll lose them. But you want to take one. You see this here, these fins. And you just pop them in. Like that. And it just closes it off. You don't want to do them on both sides because then you won't get any air at all. That's what you want to do. I guess if you want to, you could, if you want to Make it even more, you can just like loosen it, but then you're probably gonna lose them. I like running it wide open because I think I get a really good flavor. So let's go back up on top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, we're back up on top with the Target PM80. The thing I like about this, we'll, see, we'll jump right into pros and cons. Pros, a great form factor, very well made. Let's say I dropped it from over 12 feet onto asphalt and it's still working just fine. The coils are great flavor out of the coils. Really good, really good flavor. No issues there whatsoever. And plenty of, you know, plenty of cloud production. And, and your battery life, you know, you go 
if you're using consistent, you can go about six, seven hours, maybe, running at 55 watts on you know, the smart chip. And the smart chip's another thing. I mean, this board is excellent, it's sexy, great looks. Nice and bright, too. Out in the sun, you can still see it. Uh, it charges within like an hour from nearly dead up to fully charged with that two-amp charging. And real nice and easy. You can see USB charging port right there. Uh, see, not, I mean, you can see, they're the pros, cons. The only thing I would say is it'd be nice if this had a rebuildable. A rebuildable section for this would be excellent. Because and you, know, you see like their competition, the oh uh, what is it? The I think the Voo, I'm not sure if the Voo one does anything like the Hugs Vape and the Smoke ones. They all have rebuilt all little RBA bases. This thing would be awesome. I mean, this would be a ten out of ten if it had an RBA base. I want to thank the great folks over at Vape Resto for sending this my way for review. Glad they recognized the channel and you know. There, this, this product is available. You can buy the pod separate. You can get the coils. I mean, coils right now, you know, with everything going on, maybe a little tougher to get. But I've seen online you can get the pods. You know, the, these you know, these pod cases. Oh yeah, nothing. Batteries. You know, the magnets in this are awesome. And get them. You know, get them pods relatively cheap. Uh, the device. You can get a whole kit. You can get under forty dollars. You know, most most places I've seen it sold. Uh, just go ahead and look it up. You can find it. Can't put links anywhere. Can't talk about where you can buy it. But you know, if it's out there. Just you know, Google's your friend. Go check it out. All right, guys. Until next time, be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. We'll see you on that next one. Have a good day.